honest and I'm going to be raw. Last January 2013, when I was asked to be the uh, president, actually I was uh, threatened to be the president of this club in spite of great protests. Uh, I was scared, I was vulnerable, and I was determined. It is a deadly combination for disaster. But I thought I had a plan. I actually had a three-point agenda. And I had a brilliant team to support my cause. I decided that my three-point agenda will be go out, help other clubs, participate in other clubs, help our members participate in contests, and win the Golden Gap. For six months, I was a racehorse with blinders, and I ran for my life. And at the end of six months, I won it all. There was just winning everywhere. Everything happened so fast. Everything was achieved so fast. There was so much jubilation. There was so much exhilaration. There was so much happening. And then I got re-elected as the president for the second term. When I got re-elected as the president for the second term, I was stuck. I honestly did not have an agenda because I was so focused on making this club great that I didn't know what came after great. What came after great? Honestly, what came after great? Nothing. I decided the next best thing to do was just be great. Keep all our legacy intact, do nothing to reprimand it, and stay there. Just be great and stay there. And I had another brilliant team in place with Mr. Sincere Suman Mukherjee, who worked from the US, who worked from Kaziranga National Park, who just worked because he was the Vice President of Education. Uh, Raghu, who came up with ingenious ways to add new members and got us the Smedley Award. Uh, Devika, who, who worked really hard in spite of her busy schedule to be the VPPR. Hema, who's been our most ingenious secretary ever. And Debashi, who did a fabulous job being the, uh, being the treasurer. And Ramya, as you know it, she's been the best editor. We beg of her to continue, but she will not, obviously. Uh, and one brilliant Sajna at arms. With this brilliant team in place, I could have achieved a lot more. But I chose not to. I chose not to go after all the things that I really desperately wanted for the first six months of my term. And I think I made the right decision. Because when I sat back and thought about the last one year, I actually wanted to come here and rattle out all the long list of achievements that I did for last one year. Honestly, I really wanted to do that. I wanted to come here and blow your minds away that Kavya Gowda achieved this. But when I sat back and thought about it, nothing came to my mind. Not the Golden Gap, not the DCP points, not the PR awards. The only thing that defined my success was my people. People who had a vision. People who professionally got promoted because of those masters. People who found a voice. People who had ingenious ideas. People who had opinions. People who helped each other go through tough times. People whom I believed in. And people who believed in me. For the last one year, I have strongly realized that Toastmasters is not about speaking. It's not about communication. It's not about the titles that you have. It's not about the number of projects that you complete. Toastmasters is always about the people. If I have been successful in any infinitesimal way, it is only because of you. You have been my success.